five eight. Good evening, everybody. We're taking a look right now at the Dow futures, okay? And they are down 311 points at the very moment. What I will tell you is that the open was 32.624, then the highs came in at 32.690, then guess what? Bam, right to the low of 32.344. Not only that, current bid and ask is 32.495 by 32.497. So we've had a 465-point move in the... Just call it related to the Dow futures, okay? And with that big of a gap down on a Sunday evening with the continuations when we updated people over the weekend, it's all right there. DailyStockCharts.com, home to the traders, wood traders, but most important, the identity of the trade how things are going to work in the markets and what we're going to do together to go ahead and conquer whatever challenges that you may have. But I will tell you how they will open it up, and I am not wrong. And if I were you, I would spread the news. But when we take a look at the options market, we take a look at call-to-put ratios, and we look at very many different things. One of the things that we do know is, is that we are oversold in these markets, and we very well could capitulate. Um, we've had horrendous selling. We called the markets were going to go down, and we also said over the weekend that markets were in extreme trouble if they break some of the key weekly and monthly moving averages, and that is very, very true my friends not only that we're going to take a look at the e-mini futures and we can see the same thing right here that's a 61.75 movement in the es june uh 17th contract and not only that currently negative 39.75 okay so we opened up 40 point I'll just call it 40.87. Um, and then we hit a high of 40.99 with an immediate reversal top, as you can see right here in the red bar. There's that green top. There's that. And this is a daily of a snapshot that you can see a doji setting up in the E-mini futures there. In the NQ futures, NASDAQ 100, of course, down only 104 points total movement in this market as of this time right now. And I would say that by the looks of it, we can also go to a hourly chart. And we can definitely see where the hourly is forming a red bar next to the green bar. And when you look at key reversals, it's always going to be a red bar next to the green bar, no matter what. They always start with the red next to the green. And then either they confirm it or they don't. And we're going to teach you these things because we know that you will be a very successful trader. And we all go through market volatility. It's a lesson of the market, and it's here to stay, and it's not going to go away and whatnot. But nonetheless, we can clearly see where we're at on a 30-minute chart when it loads. This is not my charting app. This is a, another one that we use for videos. But we will get that market data for that time frame. So the futures market have had a tremendous move in, in all of them, and we're having a problem with data. Early seen now that we have the data back on a 15 minute, we look at what we call an ascending base, okay? And there's a 15 minute bar right next to the green bar, like we talk about. 
These are simply trading ranges in the E&Q. And with the way they're going to open up, it says that equity markets will gap down again. And we are in that oversold zone on all of these uh, instruments for a trade. You have to sell into the rallies, though. So we covered the NQ. Here is the ES ascending 15 minute. They're coming off of the lows. So stocks will trade like this in the morning. There's a triangle, but we have a 15 minute red bar right here and that ES. And then the Dow on a 15 minute, you can see they're all very similar and running together. And you can see where the resistance are. So when we look at way that equities will trade tomorrow, we know clearly the directional price movement and the mathematics will not lie. And our trading bots that we developed with our charting apps that we own, which you will be able to demo in the live trading room. You won't see these, you'll see ours and whatnot. So one of the things that we would say is I could bring it up just to let you know that our apps that we own are for professional traders. And it's an amazing piece of software that you can demo live. But we've covered the markets now, everybody. We know what the gap, you know what the continuation of the selling is there. And once again, to all traders around the world and in every market, we cover many markets around the world and all of the economic and we have the war and we have all of the laundry list that goes on for 10,000 miles and the networks are overloading headlines every day, and that causes market volatility. So, but spotting the patterns and understanding what the ascending base is when trading futures. We trade each one of the markets that we cover with you, and this is a 15-minute, and you can make $25 a point. Uh, how do you like that? But... One of the things that we do like is that right now you can see where the upper end of the resistance channels are going to be where the breakdown was right here, of course. Okay, so that's the broader scheme of it. So we know the elements, we know what resistance, we know what reversals are, we know what attempted rallies are. And the key thing about the futures market, it will control the equity side of the markets and the option markets. And we are going to get oversold. We could start with a good gap down and then bam, off to the race as we go. We'll let you know because we'll be updating every trade that we do live. And on the channel, well, you've got, what, 8,800 videos or something like that. And they're all live trades covering the last 13 years of updating markets on a daily level year after year after year for 35 years. I think that we can be a great help by letting you understand how the futures markets trade, what to expect in the uh, equity markets in the following morning, the correlations and various different things that's going to do what? Power your trading. That's what it's about. Power your trading. Let's power it together. And let's do it now. This is the Sunday night market recap of the futures. And we've covered the Dow, which is right here. We've covered every bottom. So we'll see if we come down and break the lows. They'll be trading all night. They're going to be open 23 hours a day, everybody. But it's a gauge on how equities are going to trade. And it's a gauge on what foot to calls are going to pay in the option market. Okay, when we make markets in the option market, all right? And we're the ones that give the entries. We're the ones that give the exits. We know when to sell. Our mathematics don't lie. So we take all of that what if out of the trading and math never lies. 
a camp by. So when we built our systems, we built them pure on mathematics, of course, and what directional price movements are going to play out and what are the correlations and how do you connect all the dots. We're doing it now with you worldwide update Sunday night futures market update. Sign up for the free five day trial. Don't hesitate. Let's not wait.